What's going on folks? You're looking at a Galaxy Gear first generation uh, rooted overclock custom kernel with Nova Launcher. I know the stock kernel is set to 18 no 800 megahertz single core but with this kernel it's unlocked to dual core and uh, 1600 megahertz. As you can see I have live wallpapers running in the background. I have native Android apps installed and the funny thing I found out is you actually don't even need root to install native applications. The easiest way to do it is without pushing them from your PC to the Galaxy Gear itself. It's just the Bluetooth, the files, the APKs from your phone over to the gear itself. Like you can use ES File Explorer, which I use, and I just Bluetooth the APKs to the Galaxy Gear and they install and work perfectly fine. Um, you can install Go Launcher, you can install Nova Launcher, you can basically install anything on the Galaxy Gear. Not everything works, but for the most part, most mostly everything does, you know, that I've tried works. Most games play on this thing with no problem at all, no no frame rate issues, no nothing. And, and that's, I'm, I'm shocked and surprised about that. I didn't think that it would p play games that well, but they do play very well. Um, like I said, live wallpapers do work, which you can see is running in the background. Um, movies work on this thing. I loaded a 720p movie on it, and it played no problem. Internet works. I have Bluetooth tethering. As you can see, I'm on Worldstar, and I'll just load this page real quick. As you can see, I'm using a browser and desktop mode, and it works with no problem. Now, it's not the fastest internet in the world, because I guess because you're using um, Bluetooth, but it does work. So, I just wanted to show that. Um, now, the battery life, I heard a lot of people complain about the battery life, but I've had this thing for like two, three days now, and I've been using it heavily and the battery lasts long enough for me it lasts more than 24 hours i know that much and i'm talking about with the screen on max brightness also with the overclocking and i've only had to charge it once since i've had it so i don't know why people are complaining about the battery life i mean i know things like the pebble and stuff last like a week or something but i'm doing something they would last like a week or something but I didn't have any issues with this battery. So anyway, that was just basically me showing you that the browser does work. I'm doing something! Um, let me just show you a game. I'm sorry about that, folks. I'm trying, I'm really not trying to record this video again. So I have to go to... Okay, what the hell? Oh, great. Let's load this back up again. I mean, I don't see myself really playing games on here like that. Probably because the screen is way too small. But they do work. That's basically all I wanted to show. Is you do have that option, they do work. With no frame rate issues, no nothing. Well... Now it is. It does that sometimes. I don't know why, but normally this game will play silky smooth. It's like, I think that's a bug that's e either in this ROM or something because it doesn't do this stuttering stuff all the time. But this game was running silky smooth earlier. Maybe I have to clear the RAM or something like that. But just the fact that it's playing on here is good enough for me. So we'll exit this one and I'll show you one more game. Let me see if I clear the RAM first, if it stops that glitchy stuff. It does that from time to time. I don't know why. So let me just clear it. Maybe it'll stop that. Let's go and try this game. I got to turn it this way. 
just want to hide the stuff so YouTube don't be coming after me. So you see, games play with no problem. I mean, these are not the most graphically intense games there is, but they do play with no problem. So I'm going to end it there. And um, if I finally discover anything different with the gear, then I definitely will post it up. So keep a lookout. If there's anything you want me to try on the phone, on, on, I said phone, on the device, just leave a comment below and um, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.